my name is Dushan and I'm a developer for Zamad. In today's video, I would like to give you a real-world example on how to use our webhook feature to post messages to Microsoft Teams channel when tickets are escalated. There are three steps we will need to do. First, we will get the endpoint from the MS Teams channel, then we will register it as a webhook within Zamad, and finally, we will create a trigger to fire that webhook. Let's start in our MS Teams instance. After we found the channel we want to post a notification into, we click on the three dots next to the channel. Now select connectors. Search for incoming webhook and select add. Once you have found incoming webhook, click configure. If you like, you can adjust the name of the incoming webhook to something like Zamad and also upload the thumbnail to be used within Microsoft Teams. Make sure to copy the URL and save it for later. Press done when you have stored the endpoint URL somewhere safe. If you don't have the permission to add the webhook connected to a channel, ask the administrator of the team about it. In Zamad, head over to the administrator's menu and click on webhook. On the top right corner, select a small arrow pointing downwards and click predefined webhook. In the model that pops up, select Microsoft Teams notifications and then next. You can choose whatever name you like, I suggest to include the channel name of the Microsoft Teams channel you've created the webhook for previously. Now copy the endpoint URL you stored safely into the endpoint. If you like, you can adjust the payload. Now we complete this step by clicking on Submit. Be aware that this registers the webhook in Zamad but does not do anything on its own. To actually call the webhook, we will need to add triggers and or schedulers. In our case, we will create a trigger. Remember, we want to post a message to our Microsoft Teams channel when a ticket is escalated so the team is made aware of the SLA breach. Click on New Trigger to create a trigger. You can choose any name, make sure it makes sense. There is a new trigger type, which is activated when tickets are escalated, called Time Event. These are fired when tickets reach their reminder time, when tickets are about to be escalated, and when they are escalated. To check for the last case, we will select Escalation at, and then the operator has reached. Now we can select the changes on objects accordingly, which in our case is the previously created webhook. Select webhook under Execute Changes on Objects. We also need to select the webhook we have created. And that's it! Click Submit to wrap everything up.